Alright boys, we are back on Infinite Warfare. I can't believe I'm actually on this game again. 2016, 2017, what a crazy, crazy year with this game. You guys who know me know how important this game was for me and my growth and just kind of getting my name out there. We'll get more into that in a bit, but man, just looking at this overall just as a first glance is insane. The class setups, everything. Obviously, this is just my original class setups. I haven't touched any of this stuff since I last played the game. I had a Protease class, a, an Intervention class, and a KBS Longbow. Oh my god, I have missed this gun. But look at the camos, man. Look at all these different camos look at how colorful they are if you guys can see these are epic camos these are all motion camos so they all move around they all have some type of uh, reactiveness to them i guess and it is honestly crazy to think that this game had better camos than cold war like the newest card like look at these camos they're so nice all the reactive ones even the static camos were super clean as well in my opinion like look at the colors in them it just kind of brightened up the game in my opinion there was so much progress you could do as well you had zombie camos that i didn't even touch actually the regular camos were fine as well the quartermaster camos of course are the best all right boys first game on we have precinct <laughs> wow dude this game man it definitely feels a bit more clunkier than i remember it i don't know if that's because i haven't obviously played the game in a long time or if it's because i'm on ps5 playing this game my sensitivity is really all over the place too i actually remember hitting one of my best like movement clips on this map and it was funny like when i did hit it i ended up actually Playing IW with Dirty that night too. I wanted to show Dirty. Oh my god, I completely forgot that your minimap goes away when you scope in. It's so busted. It's such a weird system. But yeah, if I can find that clip, I need to throw that into the video right now. Oh, that's clean. Oh my god, what did I just do? Oh my god, I just refilled it again. What the hell did I just do? Oh, I have no idea what sensitivity I used to play on. Oh my god, but I'm hitting these shots. A little FTL boost. Okay. I genuinely thought this was going to be very underpopulated, but these guys are gaming. Like, these guys are not casual gamers. These guys must have loved IW as much as I did because they're still on this going stupid. We are about to play one of the most underrated and honestly my favorite map in this whole game. Grounded. I hear some nice clips on this map. I need to show you guys. I just need to show you guys. Oh, the hit markers. Don't like those. That's a very delayed shot. Another one right here. Got him. Oh, I hit marked him at the sky. There's one. There's two. Oh. I got the third guy. Hold on. Oh, teammate got that guy too. That was a little bit sloppy, but hey, little three piece. I really wish Grandma was still a thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure Grandma lobbies are most likely very, very dead at this point. But Grandma on this game, guys, I know a lot of you guys probably didn't enjoy this game or play this game too much, but wow, it just had its moments, you know? That's honestly one of the things I'm really, really looking forward to in Vanguard is the fact that we're going to be able to have multiple maps with like the max amount of players on them. So we'll have like 12v12s, 24v24s, all that stuff. This guy's like chilling over here. He's being prone. Very NPC-like behavior. Oh, we got one, we got two, we got the third, where's the fourth? 26 kills, not too bad, not too bad. First game back on this map, I have to say, this is genuinely one of my favorite maps in the game. Oh, I love this map, I love this map so much. Wait, hold on, got that guy too. Oh, the jump shot collide across the map, love to see it, hold on. Oh, oh. Oh my god, he was a dog too. The synaptic dog. I got him. Where's the fourth? There's no fourth. No, 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 not the black hole. Oh. Oh my god, I forgot that was a thing. I got him. Got him. Got him. Got that guy. Anybody else? Nope, not. Dude, I'm just dying to this thing non-stop. Oh, I picked up a Proteus and got the final kill with it. Stupid Synaptic deserved to die even after the game. I dropped 41 kills that game. That's actually a crazy, crazy game to finish it out on. But yeah, Frontier, hands down one of the best maps in the game. I just keep dying to a lot of BS. It's kind of annoying. Oh, see ya. Let me get into some topics as well now. Because this game, guys, this game did so, so much for me. It introduced me to the scene a little bit more. Uh, I managed to get my name out there a lot more. As far as like teams and all that stuff go, I ended up actually joining Red Reserve from this game. Which at the time was the only team I wanted to be in. I mean, obviously everybody's got like phase and stuff in the in the back of their minds, but as far as like team teams go, like Red Reserve was definitely my all time. Oh whoa, hold on. See you, sir. Got a UAV right now. I got that guy. Oh, oh, the Movement King has returned. <laughs> maybe a bit, maybe a bit too early to call myself that again, but 
Oh, man. Oh, the FTL jump. Hold on. What just hit me? I don't even know what that was. I'm on a Merciless? Oh my god, it's got a Goliath. What is that? I forgot what that is. Is that like a... I think it's like a Harrier or something. He's in the window. Got him. Oh, what a game-winning kill. But guys, this game, this was the game that, like I said, got my name out there a bit more. I ended up joining Red Reserve because of this game, because of the recruitment challenge. I remember going into this game thinking, all right, Infinite Warfare is coming out, and so is Modern Warfare Remastered. I felt like a lot more people would kind of go towards Modern Warfare Remastered and kind of leave the IW section a bit more empty. So I thought, you know what? Let me focus on IW, get my name out there, be good at this game, and join Red Reserve. And that's essentially what happened. So thank God I trusted my gut instinct and stuck to this game. And like I said, it just got my name out there a bit more. And without this game and without me joining Red Reserve, I don't know what position I would have been in in this scene or what I would have been doing. But thank God for this. And hopefully we get to play Terminal right now because I haven't played this map in a very, very long time. And I would really like to check this out again. I gotta be honest though, guys, in my opinion, the KBS Longbow is like a top 10, maybe, yeah, yeah, top 10, I would say. Not a top five, but a top 10 sniper rifle card history, in my opinion. In my opinion only, obviously. The gun is so smooth. The gun is genuinely so smooth. I wish my shot was a bit more on with it. Oh, I got an FTL boost to kind of dodge. Where did this guy go? Got him. Pull that UAV and I see this guy in the back right here. Got him too. They're gonna be all around me right now. Got this guy with the pistol. Oh, I'm trying to hit this guy with the movements. I couldn't do it. Oh. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Did my teammate get him? He did not, but I got that guy instead. And I got that guy too. Ooh. There's one. There's another. He's put a bubble. Dude. What? Let's go. Let's go. FTL boost. Oh my god. Any more? Oh, it's a teammate. No way. That was such a nice play. Try to get the right angle and he's kind of called me to die. Oh. Oh my god. He. Dude, what? He threw the bubble down. <laughs> the one thing I wish I had down, apart from the movement, was my it would be my sensitivity. I wish I could get my sensitivity to feel as smooth as it did, you know, back in the day. Oh. Oh, I just dunked on that guy. Now that I've played for about an hour or so, I have to say, the fun aspect of this game is coming back to me. Obviously, these are sweaty lobbies, but I can understand why I enjoy this game so much. The movement is amazing. The gun feels amazing. The enemies are a little bit OP, I'm not gonna lie. They're not casual gamers per se. But for me, guys, the movement was just... Oh! Hold on. Ah. Oh. FTL used to get away from him. He had no idea. Where's his teammates at? Where are they at? Right here. Oh. Oh, you would've just loved to see that. Got that guy. And finally, for the game winning kill. No. I dropped 45 kills this game. I really, really had fun. I think that's gonna be me kind of done though. I really, really did have a good time on this. But before I let you guys go, let's just have a quick look at the stats right here. Wow, <laughs> 113,000 kills, 1.3 KD, not the craziest KD I guess. It was 48,000 KBS kills. 26,000 with the intervention. The Proteus had 8,800, so and so. But yeah, the KBS Longbow, 48,000 kills with that thing. I thought I would have had more. It is what it is. What about medals? Do I have any nucleus? Kill chains. We got 16 kill chains. Nothing too crazy. I don't know how popular kill chains were in this game. Uh, Juggernaut. I guess this is the, the nucleus. So 10 nucleus. 27 unstoppable, so whatever. To get actual nukes on this game, you have to use specific weapons and their variants, and unfortunately, I didn't really have any nuke variants, so I never really dropped a chem. I think it was a chem strike on this game, wasn't it? Or was it a deatomizer? I think it was like a deatomizer or something like that. Anyway, I never dropped any of those. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching so much. This was the Infinite Warfare video. I really, really had a fun time putting this thing together and playing this and revisiting one of my all-time favorite cards. I'm not gonna lie, this thing did a lot for me. Would I be happy with this game kind of releasing in today's date and today's kind of climate? Definitely not, but whether or not you guys guys love or hate this game this game definitely put its mark on the whole series of cod and it will just be here for the history books i guess so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy drop a like if you did subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and of course turn on that bell as well for the noties we're gonna keep posting these throwback videos until vanguard releases once that releases you guys already know daily uploads i'll see you guys in the next one